Hello and welcome back to Rare Rose Online. So today we are taking the shade not for his first run, but for its first workload. As for sure, we are running boxcars. Uh, not quite full of tools. Uh, I think we need like 50 out there or something. It's kind of just a top off run. So what I have done up until this point is uh, gone ahead and half filled pretty much all of the cars. Have a couple more to throw in the back um, car there. And we do have the old caboose attached. So we'll see what the Shea can do. I don't anticipate any problems. Um, I mean, this is only even a half a load, so I wouldn't think we have any problems out here. Everything's pretty flat, but we'll have to see what happens. I've heard um, mixed reviews about the Shea being pretty weak, so, you know, but then some people really, really like it. Um, a lot of people wish the attractive effort was higher. I have to say, I was kind of hoping for a big beastly shave when we got one. Um, this one apparently doesn't have too, too uh, much power, but I honestly haven't tried to use it for anything. I know the tractive effort's pretty low, but um, I've been told it's just a switching locomotive mainly. Shunting locomotive, if you will. Um, I know it's pretty slow, so that's why I brought it out here for the... Um, boxcar run. Just because I figured uh, that way it's not too long of run, and it won't, uh, you know, it won't take forever running it anywhere. Looks like the uh, cylinder cocks are not. Oh, there they are. Oh, sure. Okay, so they only come out on one side. Huh. Gonna do that. Go figure. So we will take a little bit of a closer look. Me and I know we haven't been in the Shea a heck of a lot. Um, this one we did not number, did not name. Unfortunately, I was looking at it. I did not. Um, I just didn't slow down and do it. So there's a good look at the at the gears, man. So, uh, for all the Shea fans out there, this one's definitely a mechanical marvel in the way that it works. It's pretty unique. Did go ahead and open up the sunroof. That's a full uh, moonroof one more. And again, here's another height problem with the old man because his head's right in the middle of the board. <laughs> So many problems would be solved if we made that guy almost a foot shorter. So, uh, I have noticed that the shade no longer spins the wheels. Though I think we covered that before. But I know for some people that was an issue. So it does no longer have the Climax bug. So that's a good... Um... Uh, but the one thing I will say with the Shea is, is this, I mean, this is just straight walking and I'm going as fast as the Shea in reverse. And if we run, we smoke the locomotive, which is nice for, you know, grabbing looks at your locomotive. Kind of makes the uh, Shea a little fun because you definitely have time to go ahead and take a look at your loco as it's rolling by. No fear of uh, not being able to catch up to this one. So we'll just kind of take a look as the old Shea goes by. Not very old. This is pretty much its first mileage except coming out of the shop. So there we go. Of course, that's our old caboose. And the new colors and uh, print that had been applied to it automatically upon whatever it switched over to. So that's just what we got by default. Whoa. 
our bright red caboose was turned pretty dark. Though I do have to say it looks great with the box cars. So definitely not disappointed that um, that one actually got changed that color because it does really look pretty good with the box cars. So, you know, I keep it that way anyway. Go ahead and run up here. See what we got going on. Pretty sure all of our track or our switches are pretty lined out. So we're just going to take a walk along with the train here and see it in action. A stripped down version of the Shea. No name, no logo, no number, nothing to get in the way. That's just what it is. There is the toolbox, one sided toolbox over all the working parts. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's definitely a unique locomotive. Uh, have to say, I like it. I do wish it was a little faster or a little stronger, one of the two, I have to say, uh, just because, you know, it is slightly limited use as it currently sits. But it is a cool looking locomotive and definitely something different than everything else we have. So I am a fan. Probably we. It's meh. <laughs> Probably will repurchase it so that I uh, could actually put a number and a name on it at some point. Uh, although I'm not inclined to be in a big hurry to do that because quite frankly it's not like we're going to be using this one a heck of a lot for a lot of things. I'm um, pretty sure it's going to stay on tools just because, well, tools are a very limited run. Not something you have to do a lot. Um, for those that are out at the end portion of the game, if you will, um, you know, we all know that tools are just one that you really don't have to run a lot of loads of. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess it all depends on if you're, you know, moving oil massively at, you know, breakneck speed. Then you probably do, but um, I have not found myself running a heck of a lot of tool loads. One um, 100 car or 100 tool load lasts quite a while pretty sure we still have like 50 out there but I really wanted to just get an opportunity to run the Shea and get a look at it in action being we haven't hauled tools for a while I have tr locomotives just strewn about right now I have to honestly say so don't mind that I know there's a Eureka sitting in the middle of the rail down here got the oil rig out here Okay, so we can't even go quite full. Well, great. I think we can get, I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot how many I actually have on here. Probably just a few too many, but not much. So we'll see what we can do as we pull into the dock. We'll get the drop off topped off anyway, that's for sure. No doubt about that. We have enough to fill it. Have to get to work on uh, bringing up some stuff for steel pipes and run out and fix the um, iron mine trick. Because after not being able to run that up, that's kind of got a glitch in um, the whole layout. So. It's either go fix that or start a whole new layout, and I think I'm going to fix that and probably then maybe start a new layout. Just for fun, to see how things uh, go different this time. You unloading or what? There we go. Boxes. You don't get to see those too often, but this is this drop I think is one of the coolest looking when it's full 
and yes I'm aware it's just boxes sitting there but it does look pretty cool I do like the drop-offs um, full most of them I just think it looks good when the um, industries are all full I would still like to actually um, attempt to try to fill all the industries on this layout and maybe I'll do that like fix the rail and then load everything out and then um, maybe start a new build. Guess we don't really need to open the door. We just need to be able to highlight the load. Which it doesn't want to let me do. Hey, there it did. Give me the load. There we go. So we need 11. I got 16 on that last one. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We'll just top it off anyway and stop the delivery. See if we can pull that off. Making a tool run. You gotta do it at some point. I think the, um... Biggest negative about the tool run, to be quite honest, is the loading process. Not so bad when you only have to load 16. Not so fun when you're loading 32. I'll be the first one to say it. Um, of course, I'm not the first one to say it. A lot of people have said it. Loading um, 32 of these things does get to be a bit of a pain. The crane is not exactly what you would call fast. So there we go, 100 on the dock, and that fills it up. So the Shea getting the job done. Didn't have a lot of question in my mind if it would be able to do it. It definitely can handle that kind of a load. Whoa, why is that doing? <laughs> that was a bad problem. All right, anyway, so I guess we'll call that one a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.